Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to do in this video is talk about pin numbers on Roku. If you set your Roku up with a pin number, or maybe somebody else set it up with a pin number and thought it would be helpful for you to have a little bit of security, you might have a pin number. Pin numbers allow you to set a four digit number into the Roku to prevent people from adding channels or maybe making purchases like on-demand content. And I'll show you what it looks like if you've got one. So let's say you're in the channel store here and you're just going to add something that you don't have already. Let's try Discovery Go. You click on it and click Add Channel. But uh-oh, you need a pin number. And maybe, you know, maybe you did add this pin in here, but you just don't recall what it was that you chose as your four-digit pass. It's going to prevent you from being able to add a channel, even a free one, something like Pluto TV or something that, you know, isn't going to cost anybody anything. This sort of allows you to stay with what you're looking for. If you do know your pin, you can type it in. And you'll see, boom, it added it. I happen to know what my PIN number was. So we added Discovery Go. Obviously, if you don't know what it is, that's going to be a problem. Now, how do you fix it? It's pretty easy, but you do need some information. You want to make sure first that you have the email address that is associated with your Roku account. Again, you might know that right off the top of your head, but if you can't remember, there's an easy way to find it. Starting from home here, you want to go down to settings. Press OK. And it will bounce you onto the next side where you toggle down to where it says system, which is the last thing on the list. Next, you go over to about and you look under that gear there, you see Roku Ultra, and that's one of my email addresses. You're going to be using your email address. From there, we're going to go to Roku.com and click on Sign In. And from here, you're going to sign in with your email and your password. Now, oh no, I can't remember my password either. Oops. Well, that's a hassle, but not too big a problem to fix. If you can, make sure you type in remember me and so on and I am not a robot and submit. If you have forgotten your password, there is a way to recover it. No worries. Just click on forgot password down here and type in the email address that you looked up on your Roku. Tell it you're not a robot. Type in that email, submit, and Roku will email you a link to reset your password. You just have to be able to get into your email. Now, if you don't know how to get into your actual email, that's between you and your email provider because I'm not going to do a video on, you know, 20 different email services. But hopefully you know how to get into your email and you'll be able to get on your way. So once you have your email address reset, you'll be able to log in and you see tapping on that section there it now says my account so we have signed in just a little you know off screen action once you sign in you see this screen account information pin preferences and payment method what you're going to do is choose the pin preferences and you see at the top you have an option to change pin as well as this little list here of things that you can require a pin for if you like, if you found that you never needed to use the pin anyway, you can just choose a pin is not required for any purchases. That way, you'll never really have to worry about it again. I don't typically use a pin because I don't have, you know, a young kid changes things around much. If you do want to change your pin number though, all you have to do is click on change pin up there and submit it. And now your pin has been updated to whatever it is that you want it to be. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want with those four digits. It's just very important to note, 
if you don't want to use anything like that, you can tell it so. You can you can require it for purchases, you can require it for adding channels, but you know, you can leave it be and just save those preferences. So, back on the Roku Ultra here, we're going to jump in and basically we're going to do the same thing that we did at the beginning of the video. We're going to re-add Discovery, I mean, it was HDTV Go. So we're going to jump into the streaming channel. We're going to go back to new and updated. Oh, Discovery Go, okay. My memory, 43, my memory's starting to slip, oh no. We're adding the channel. And you see this time, it added the channel without telling us that we needed a PIN number. You might want to give your Roku a little bit of time to get this update. Maybe even do a software update. Maybe unplug it, plug it back in just to make sure that everything cycles through. But that's it. That's all you need to do in order to fix this possible problem. It can really be a headache if you don't know how to fix it, especially when you start digging in and you need the password for this, you need the password for that. So that's why we showed you how to sort of take care of all of those problems without breaking too much of a sweat. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Give us a like, and as always, stream on, my friends.